Yeezy Foams, Packer Shacks, and High Fashion Jordans. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. The Yeezy Foams have been floating around for a while now, but it looks like they are just now getting an official release date. According to Soul Collector, the Air Yeezy-inspired Nike Air Foam Posit 1 will be hitting sneaker shops starting on April 19th with the pricing set at $250 for the black and laser crimson colorway. You should also know that they're going to be available in youth to adult sizes. Pack of Shoes is continuing to put together some great collaborations with Reebok and the latest is on the Shack Attack. Called the official friend of the program Shack Attack, the collaboration between Reebok Classics on this shoe is one of the best executions I have seen thus far. The shoe is inspired by Shaq's character in the movie Blue Chips, which he played in alongside Penny Hardway. There's a little bit of a fun fact. And they actually capture the colors perfectly. The details, such as the hang tag, the insoles, and the liner, really show the work that Packer Shoes puts into their collaborations. Look for this to launch exclusively at Packer Shoes and PackerShoes.com this Friday, March 21st at 12 p.m. noon Eastern Standard Time. Jordan Brand has been stirring the high fashion pot lately with the Jordan Future and the soon-to-come Jordan Shine, but artist Dead Dilly looks like he's taking things up another notch. As Dilly explains it on his site, the idea was to fake collaborations between Jordan and higher-end brands. I repeat, these are not real. However, there are some cool looks in here that caught my eye. The Margiela Jordan 3 is pretty nice, the Balenciaga 7 is nice as well, and the Givenchy 11 definitely caught my eye. But again, just to remind you, these are just mock-ups, so don't go all crazy on me in the comments, but it would be cool to see some of these come to real life. Well, that's going to do it for the show today, but before I get out of here and show you guys what I'm rocking, today I'm actually wearing, this is the uh, Under Armour Speed Form. This is the first one. They have a second version that just came out a few weeks ago, but this is the first version. These are comfortable. I'm not a true runner. I run every once in a while. I should be running more, but these are definitely comfortable shoes to run in. So if you're looking for something that's really lightweight and strictly for running, although you could probably wear these out. I've worn these out a couple times. Uh, this is a pretty cool option, uh, Under Armour Speed Form. Anyway, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and as always visit the links down in the description because it'll give you the full story of everything that I talked about today. Also, click right here and it'll take you to the video from yesterday so you can check that out. I had a really cool Air Yeezy 1 custom in the video yesterday. Well, with all that being said, I am your host, Josh Slade. This is Today in Sneaks. As always, I appreciate you and I'll see you soon. Peace.